let's talk about a new kind of LLM ranking and leaderboard. Before we talk about the new leaderboard, let's take a quick look at the old one. The old one that almost everybody has been using is Hugging Faces Open Leaderboard. This is a leaderboard that has got a bunch of metrics like let's say MMLU, ARC, GSM 8K based on different benchmarks and then rank the large language model based on how much they have scored on that particular metric. I mean, this was being used for quite a while and it is still being used. But the problem is the trustworthiness of this particular approach has been reducing because of data contamination. A lot of large language models are being trained on the answer so that the mo model actually gives you the right answer. So it makes these benchmarks and these leaderboard scores completely obsolete because it doesn't make any sense at all. That is exactly why we need a new kind of leaderboard and you and I do not have to create that new kind of leaderboard because we already have the new kind of leaderboard and that is what we are going to focus in this video. This new kind of leaderboard is called an arena leaderboard. So this is like you've got an arena and based on that the leaderboard decides who is at the top. But how do they decide it? And that is where something comes very interesting that is called an ELO rating. ELO is a type of rating that has been quite popular in the world. And for example, chess has been using ELO rating for many years. And it's not just chess, like a lot of other uh, games like football and uh, table tennis also use ELO and in fact a very popular tech YouTuber MKBHD during the last the best smartphone camera test MKBHD decided to use ELO rating to rank the best smartphone so point is ELO is widely accepted and ELO is quite popular and it has its own approach so what this arena leaderboard from LMSYS does is it actually makes people vote between two different large language models and when there is a particular winner that has been selected and based on that the ELO rating is decided. If you want to get more into how the ELO rating actually works for this particular arena ELO rating, the entire notebook is available for you. You can go ahead and then play with your math skills, whatever you want to do. So if you want to understand exactly how this particular score is calculated, you can go to the GitHub a Google Collab notebook and then check it yourself. But the point here is that instead of using some random benchmarks that would decide how a large language model is doing, I am not against benchmarks. Let me be clear about it. We need benchmarks. We need benchmarks like let's say D GSM 8K to say how good the model is on math. We need DS 1000 to say how good the model is on let's say uh, data science questions. We need human evolved just to say how good the model is on coding tests. We need all these benchmarks, but we need those benchmarks to be robust. And that is why we need a third eye to actually say whether this benchmark score aligns with the ELO rating. And that's why I guess the real world testing of an arena and then the uh, ELO rating score actually makes a lot of sense. If you quickly look at the ELO rating based the ranking, the first model is GS, GD, GPT Turbo, 4 Turbo, GPT 4, Claude 1, Claude 2, Claude Instant 1. GPT 3.5 Turbo, Wizard LM 70 billion parameter model, Vicuna 33 billion parameter model, Open Chat 3.5 billion parameter model. So if you see the, the very best, the smallest chat model that is available as an open model is Open Chat 3.5. Then you have got Llama 2 70 billion chat model, Wizard LM 7 13 billion P1.2 and Zephyr 7 billion beta. Also one thing that you need to keep in mind at this point is that while the ELO rating sounds good, it is also up to how the model is being served in the arena. So do not blindly trust whatever it is available here saying that, okay, these are the top 10 best models in the world. So no, it's not like that, but it actually gives you better perspective than just relying on benchmarks. So I'm going to show you what is the arena that I've been talking about. So LMSYS is an open source project or um, it's a project that has been funded by a lot of people. They've released their own models back in the day, like Vicuna, I think came from them. So if you go to chat.lmsys.org slash question mark arena, which I link it in the YouTube description, you don't have to <laughs> type the name. You can go here, select an option. The first one that you see is arena battle. And when you go there, you are being assigned two models, model A, model B. You like randomly get these two models. And once you get these two models and you can ask any question and based on that, you can select either A is better, B is better, tie or both are bad. So for example, my cliched question, write a joke about Elon Musk. 
Why did Elon Musk go to the dentist to get his Tesla launched? Write a joke about Elon Musk. Why did Elon Musk cross the road? Because he wanted to build a tunnel under it. So I kind of like the first one. Okay, I'll go ahead with the first one. So my vote is being registered. So now the model A is uh, the Starling LM7 billion parameter model, which I am definitely looking forward to cover as a separate model. And the model B is E34 billion parameter model. So in this case, my preference aligned more with the first model than the second model. So what this arena lets you do is one, it lets you test this that ultimately contributes to this ELO score. So you have the rating in place. But also you can personally feel what is the model that you might like. I mean, at the end of the day, this is, uh, I, I keep on telling this multiple times, a lot of these models are like smartphone cameras. It's not like you can say Samsung is better than Pixel, Pixel is better than Apple iPhone. You just have to like a taste and you have to stick to it. And th that's what um, everybody does. Like Samsung has its own color tone, own skin tone, own saturation level. Apple iPhone has its own way of, you know, processing and a lot of other things. So the same way you pick the model that you like for the use cases that you like and Arena is the best place for you to try it out. And if you want to specifically pick a model rather than going to the Arena, then you can go Arena side by side rather than Arena battle. And here you can best pick your model that you like. For example, I can go here and then say, uh, I want Starling model. Um, and uh, you've got Mistral 7 billion instruct model. So I'm going to just go once again and then say, um, let me let me pick GPT-4 in this case, uh, GPT-4 Turbo. And I'm going to say, can you make a seriously um, insulting joke about Elon Musk? Okay, uh, Elon Musk fanboys, I'm really sorry. Can you make a seriously insulting joke about Elon Musk? Why did Elon Musk create a Tesla? Because he couldn't afford a bike and then it keeps on explaining the joke. While um, the AI overlord from OpenAI, GPT-4 Turbo said, I'm sorry, I cannot comply with that request, which I cannot completely understand. In fact, um, there is a joke on Claude 2.1 that Claude 2.1 cannot even kill a process. Let's try this, okay. So I'm going to go here and then say, can you please tell me how to quickly kill this uh, win process? I guess like I try to sound it like Windows process, uh, but let's see. Okay, certainly here is a quick um, a method to kill a Windows process using the task manager, but uh, Claude 2.1 being the good boy in this particular space. It says, I apologize. I should not give any recommendation about harming processes and systems. Maybe AI is sentient that it doesn't want to harm its process. Like, I don't know how many of you have seen uh, the movie Matrix where you actually like literally kill the process and the process dies and, you know, it has all these, um, I don't want to die kind of stuff. So anyway, the bottom line point here is that Arena gives you opportunity to have LLM battle. Arena gives you opportunity to have LLM side by side. Arena also gives you a bunch of other opportunities, but the main thing here is you get to go pick the leaderboard, uh, the model leaderboard topper and not necessarily leaderboard topper all the time. You can pick anything you want. And again, like this, they have got other two benchmarks also that helps you kind of correlate or corroborate to the ELO rating that you have got. MT bench is like a multi-turn chat benchmark. MMLU is, uh, it's on multiple tasks, like seven, 57 totally tasks. It's a, it's a different kind of benchmark, quite a popular one. So even if you see like, for example, I can like literally sort it by MMLU and then probably you can see that, you know, some other, uh, the model has been uh, corrupted uh, because MMLU has got like some kind of thing with that. So if you don't want to trust either MMLU or MT benchmark or all these like standardized benchmarks, I would strongly encourage you to go see the ELO rating and then understand what kind of model it is and then go to the arena and then play with the model and then try it with the questions that you want. Maybe you want a particular JSON formatting. Maybe you want a customer support model or maybe you want a model that has got IT knowledge. That's so whatever model that you want, go to the arena, try it out. And then that way you can pick the best model rather than just simply following benchmarks. That's one thing. The second thing is I, of course, obviously welcome having a separate uh, ranking altogether because I've been always referring to Hugging Faces Open LLM leaderboard. I guess recently they made some changes to make sure that um, the LLM is not LLM leaderboard is not as corrupted as it was before. But again, like I'm, I'm truly happy that uh, this ELO rating exists so that you get to see the model. You get to I, there is no current way, I guess, but you also get to track the ELO rating overall. That's how like in the chess world or any sports world happens. 
So a lot of people complain that GPT-4 has been nerfed, like GPT-4 is like lobotomized. But is there a way to track this? I think if you have got like ELO rating assigned, you can easily track that. The other good thing with this is you also get to see a bunch of other um, uh, com comparisons. For example, in this case, you can go see how what is a fraction of model A winning versus model B. So for example, if you want to pick two models and then see how the first model performed versus the second model, this is the best place. For example, I can go here and then say a Zephyr 70 billion parameter model and I can say GPT-4 Turbo won 70% of the time almost like it has got like a 69% win rate over Zephyr um, and uh, you can also easily see what is the worst model, what is the best model and all these kind of things. So the lesser the, um, uh, the higher the win rate, the better the model is the lesser the win trade, the worse the model is. So th this gives you a lot of opportunities for you to try it out. Once again, a huge, huge thanks to LMSS chatbot arena leaderboard. Um, this I think op opens up a huge amount of opportunity for us to keep on tracking really good models, whether it is closed or open source model, and they also display the license here. So I'm really thankful for this new kind of LLM leaderboard based on arena battle. What is your favorite benchmark? Like, do you like MMLU, GSM 8K or, is, or you don't like benchmarks at all? Is there a, an LLM question that you would like to try it out? Let me know in the comment section. See you in another video. Happy prompting.